हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू इन्फॉर्मेटिका सपोर्ट वीडियो दिस इज श्रुति फ्रॉम इन्फॉर्मेटिका जीसीएस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट बल्क अपडेट थ्रू यूआई इन दिस वीडियो वी विल कवर टॉपिक्स लाइक सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ बल्क अपडेट इन पर्टिकुलरली इफ देयर इज ऑलरेडी अ फंक्शनैलिटी ऑफ बल्क अपलोड फॉर एग्जिट फॉर अपडेटिंग द एग्जिस्टिंग आइटम देन वाई इज इट रिक्वायर टू यूज बल्क अपडेट थ्रू यू और वॉट इज द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ दिस फीचर then secondly we will see how to do bulk update through ui and what are the applications of it so now let's begin with our first topic that is significance of bulk update as we know that we already have a functionality of bulk upload through which we can update existing items in exxon but for that first we have to go to the bulk upload window then we have to download our attach uh, download our template file where we can enter the all the informations which is currently existing there and the information when we wanted to modify and this can take a time so in order to do all these changes quickly we can take help of, take help of the bulk update through ui also for certain objects regarding certain fields we can't edit or we can't update those fields using bulk upload functionality so in that scenario this bulk update is helpful because through bulk update we can edit those fields so now let's see how to do bulk update through ui and some of its application so currently i am under the attributes facet and there are around 12 attributes present there so for doing the bulk update the first thing is i have to choose those entries or here suppose i have to choose those attributes that i want to update So now let's see first what all fields we can edit through the bulk update functionality for the attribute. So now for that we can just select any of one of the entry and we can click on bulk update. It will show us the name of all the entries that we have selected. Here we have selected only one entry that is attribute one. So for that we can see what all fields we can modify so we can modify requirement data item glossary origin and editability now suppose let's go back and see we will select multiple attributes and then we'll try to do the bulk update so one of the important application for attribute here is suppose we wanted to shift these three attributes attribute 2 attribute 4 and attribute 6 from data set fmo to some other different data set so now and we can just shift it from one data set to another by using this functionality bulk update so just select these three attributes attribute 2 attribute 4 and attribute 6 these all are currently present under the data set fmo but now let's change the data set to some other data set so i have selected these three attributes now we can just go to data item and it will show us all the present data set in my instance so currently these attributes are present under the data set fmo and now i will change it to ds1 so now all these attributes will be shifted from the data set fmo to the data set ds1 let me just save my changes and then we can verify the results from the grid okay so as we can see for the ones we have selected attribute 2 attribute 4 and attribute 6 all those has been shifted from the data set fmo to data set ds1 apart from that if we want to assign a glossary to these attributes or we want to change the editability option then also i can use this bulk update functionality so for depending on the facet this bulk update functionality applications will vary so this is all about the bulk update through ui if you have any suggestions or if you have any queries please contact us using the links that are shown on the screen thank you for watching the video